We're at the meeting place having lunch. We've been wanting to come here. It's a deli sort of sandwich shop place that's also a butcher. So they have all kinds of sandwich meats, steaks, and potato salad, and local potato chips. Cindy's having the broccoli cheddar, and I'm having their classic Reuben sandwich that's supposed to be their most popular. And it's pretty good. There it is on the outside. It's a nice place. We would come back again. And it's just down from the courthouse in Lincolnton on the main street here. taking some of these wood scraps and I'm gonna make a special frame actually this is gonna be the base these three pieces will be the base now I'm gonna make a big frame that sits on top of this Set up my new contraption. Try it out. Would not work well on a windy day. This little stand I made came out really good. Uh, helped us get together some families, husbands, wives, and kids, and do some target practice and 
learn safety and how to use things properly. Put a whole lot of holes in the target. And we would circle them after we're done so that the next person that shoots knows where they hit the target. And we've been saving these bottles of water. They're, they're just filled up with tap water after we used up the filtered water. And it was fun to shoot a couple of those. This is our chick that we raised. Oops, and the guinea, the little baby guineas ran off. There they are. All four of these grew up together, so they're all hanging around together. Getting uh, harassed a little bit, all chickens do. But not bad. Here's a project I've been thinking about since we got these little containers. Here's my area where I store little screws and things. And so I'm gonna make uh, a shelf where these will hold items for me. We'll see how long this thing should be. I think two feet is good. Good one by six. Actually, this one's probably better because I've cut a little bit off of this one. I think it's only about five inches wide. Yeah, we don't quite need six inches, so this will be good. Use the speed square. I also want to cut a, cut a couple of angles to hold this in place. This is how I decide if I want, what size drill bit I want to use. I just look across the screw and the drill bit and I try to see something that would be a similar size and go a little smaller so that uh, the screw will grip a little bit of the wood. got those holding on on one side now we want them screwed in back here probably don't need something that long but that eh, can't hurt but that makes that thing super strong
So you could make this thing, you could measure the spaces in between and make it perfect. You could do a lot of variations of this, but these will be for putting stuff in, just like these drawers are for putting stuff in. And then I'll just hang it up there. And the truth is, uh, these are probably not gonna last as long as a uh, mason jar or something like that. So baby food jars, mason jars do such a great job on these things. Most items we get that need to hang on a wall come with some kind of pack of anchors. And I rarely ever use these. I usually use other kinds of anchors. So I've got tons of these that need a place to live. I've been collecting this little bucket full of stuff for months and now I'm trying to find some places to put some of this stuff so I'll get all these things out and put them in one of those jars.